Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create your first product on Shopify. So if you've just signed up and you're completely new to Shopify, this tutorial is for you. I'm going to guide you step by step through your first product setup. If you haven't signed up yet, I'm also going to leave a free trial link down in the description. All right, so once you're logged in from your dashboard, go to products right here and click on add your products. Now, number one thing you want to add here is your title. I'm going to be selling a plant pot, so my title is going to be Clay Plant Pot. And something you want to pay attention to when creating your titles are relevant keywords. If you're not familiar with what that means and you're looking for some help on the topic, I'm also going to link a couple of things down in the description that can help you get started. Next up, we're going to come up with a description. Now, the style you choose here will completely depend on what you're selling, of course, but here are some things you should definitely be thinking of. First, what materials are used in your product, what's included when you purchase this item, maybe the dimensions or sizes, benefits and uses of your product, what's great about it, perhaps the availability and shipping information. And of course, you'll also want to include your unique selling points. And this is what we call in marketing USP. This means what makes your product or service better than competitors. So make sure to think about that and include it in your description. Also make sure to include your brand voice in there. See that it aligns with the character and style of your brand. And also remember to consider any relevant information customers might be wondering in general before buying. So I'm going to use this as an example description for the video. And on to the next step. Now you want to add your media. So make sure to prepare some great product photos, make sure they look beautiful and professional. And remember that most people will probably be making their first impression based on your photos. So I'm going to add my clay pot right here. And now you want to set up your prices. And here are some factors you should be considering when setting your prices. If you're not sure at all how to get started on that, the first thing I recommend you do is probably have a look at your competitors and see what their prices are. Aside from that, you'll also want to consider your cost of production, how high the demand is for what you're selling, how much your audience is willing to spend, things like that. Think of how much value you think you're going to be bringing with your product. And more importantly even, consider how your customers are going to be valuing your product. In the long run, you'll possibly also want to create discounts, so don't forget to calculate that possibility in your pricing. Maybe you're also offering free shipping, in which case maybe you want to increase the product price a bit. Just remember to always have your long-term financial goals in mind. My price is going to be at $7.00. And if you want to show this product on sale with a reduced price, you can create a compare at price right here. So let's say, so let's say the discounted price is $5. You would enter that right here. And the original price is $7. That's going to go right there. In my case, I'm just going to set the original price at, let's say $7 as an example. Now, just down here, you'll also see the cost per item section, and this is nothing that will be visible in your store. This is just for you if you want to manage your production costs. So let's say it took you $3 to acquire this item, then you could type that right here and it will also show your profit and your margins. And then we come to the inventory settings. This track quantity feature right here allows you to keep track of the number of items you have in stock for each product. This can help you manage your business more efficiently and also provide a better shopping experience for your customers. By tracking the quantity of products you have in stock, you can also ensure that you always have accurate information about your inventory levels and avoid overselling. So when you do enable track quantity option right here, Shopify will automatically decrease the stock count for that product each time an order is placed for it. And if you want to use this feature, you can set the initial stock quantity right here. So let's say I have 20 clay pots available. You will also see your business address right here on the side, meaning the inventory is going to be associated with this location. So Shopify is going to be tracking that you have 20 items in this location. And if you want to change or add to those settings, you can do so later from your Shopify admin. 
Now, if you want to continue selling, even if the tracker appears out of stock, you can check this box right here. And this might be helpful if you know for a fact you will have inventory available, but maybe you just haven't updated the quantity settings. Next up, if you've got a stock keeping unit or SKU or a barcode, you are going to be checking this box and entering that information right here. Now we come to shipping. So if you've got a physical product, set the weight of it right here. And if you want, you can also change the measurement units. And if your product ships internationally, also make sure to check this box and provide all the customs details. Now, if you're selling a digital product or service, all you have to do is click this option right here since the shipping is not going to be relevant. Coming to the final steps here, we've got the variant options. So if you want to make different sizes or colors available in your products, you'll be setting that right here. If you're selling clothes, for example, here is where you will be entering your S, M, XL sizes and so on. You can choose between size, color, material, or style. As an example, I'll choose size, since I'm gonna be selling both a small and a medium clay pot. Here you can type your values. So in my case, it's going to be one small clay pot and one medium sized. Go ahead and click done. And you will see that you will also have here individual price settings for each item. So if you want to make your uh, medium item more expensive, you can change that right there. You can make it $9, for example. You've also got the quantity settings right here if you want to allow people to choose how many they're going to be buying. And finally, we've got our search engine listing preview, which is how users are going to find your product page when searching on Google or other search platforms. So click edit. And here you want to include things like your website name, product title, and also make sure to include any relevant keywords that can help you rank higher. I'm going to use this as an example. And as you edit, you can see that your preview is going to be updating right here. And finally, you want to set your URL for this particular product page. Make sure it matches your product title as that will also help you improve your visibility. Then just go ahead and click save. And you will see right here on the variants that you can also choose different images to be displayed when those variants are clicked. So just select that and you can choose your images for the different variants. And hit save once again. Now, if you want to publish this product right away, you can go right here on product status and click active. If you're still not sure if you want to have this product online just yet, just click draft and nothing will be published on your store. So that's it. That is how you create your first product on Shopify. If you go back here, you're going to see there is a new product available. Now, if you want to know how you can customize the looks of your store and start structuring how your products will be visible, I invite you to subscribe to the channel where I'll be sharing tons of tips on setting up Shopify for the first time and I'll be super excited to take you with me on this journey. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them down in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. And if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It's going to make my day. All right. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.